Hello folks. Well, decided to change oil on this Nissan 2.5 liter engine before the snow flies. And it was sunny out five minutes ago. Now it's cloudy. So I think that tells me to get her in gear and get her done, eh? Okay, so. Uh, here is the, the oil's not too bad, but you know, it hasn't been changed for a while, so that's, that's not too bad. It's 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 fairly clear, clear, not too dirty. But I'm gonna change it because when it will need changing, we'll be in the middle of the winter time and I ain't work doing that outside, no way. Okay, so I will show you where the drain plug is and the oil filter, just one second. Okay, so we go down underneath here and actually these guys, there's the oil filter right there. Uh, drain plug right there so let me get my drain pan so we can open that up and drain her I'll be right back okay that's a 14 mil wrench I need and you gonna line this up so one good thing is it's not windy today, or at least not yet. So the oil won't be flying all over the place. I had to go, ooh, it'll go right into where it's supposed to go. Let me go get a rag. And I think we can almost get this oil filter off too. Let me go get my small wrench. Okay, well, I loosened it and uh, we'll just take this oil filter off now. Gotta, oh, line up the drip pan. Yeah. What a, what a small little oil filter, eh? Yeah, Wix 1358. Okay, we'll let that drip for a little bit and get all that oil out. We'll wipe it up and then we can put the new filter on. So we'll be right back. Before putting on the new oil filter, we have to put a little bit of oil on the seal so that it goes on good and gives a good fit to it. So let's go put this oil filter on now. So that's what the, the oil filter screws on to. So, we'll just put the new oil filter on like that. Make it nice and snug. Good. And then we'll put the drain plug in and tighten her up. <laughs> hey, 
you snug this up. Good. Okay. Let's go put some oil in there from up top. Okay. So we'll just take that off and get our funnel right there and now we'll go get the oil. to find out how much oil the engine takes it's usually in your manual okay Okay, it's so clear, it's very hard to see. But uh, we'll just start it up, let it run, and check for leaks. And uh, if it need, then take it off the ramps, because I, I like to check it when it's uh, on level ground. Okay. I don't see any leaks. So now we'll uh, put on uh, off the ramps onto level ground and uh, check the oil level. Okay, so we're gonna check the oil now. And it's right, I don't know if you can see it, it's right on the, just a little bit above that line so it's good now <clears throat> um, I do this to save money for myself because I'm a, I'm a part-time heavy equipment mechanic by trade and uh, I do this to help out because I only work part-time I'm cut down to four hours because of COVID and I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up or a comment saying good job, bad job, any type of job type of thing. It would help me out and uh, this will be good for till next year, spring, uh, depending on how much it's driven and thanks for watching and um we'll see you on the next film because i know there'll be one coming up with uh, interior lights changing them to leds bye for now <laughs>